In February 2016, you may have seen the free Kesha hashtag all over social media. Many people didn't know what this was regarding, and many people believed it was a way for the pop star to make more money or was a publicity stunt. This was not the case. Let me give you a little background info and explain why this hashtag actually happened. In 2005, at 18 years old, Kesha signed with Kimasabi record label, which is a part of Sony Music Entertainment with producer Dr. Luke heading it. From 2005 to 2009, Kesha worked as a background singer and songwriter for artists such as Kelly Clarkson and Katy Perry. In 2010, Kesha released her first album, Animal, which featured her hit single, TikTok. This song catapulted her to fame. The same year, she released her EP, Cannibal, which was also a success. It featured her hits, We Are Who We Are and Sleazy. But for this pop singer, fame came at a price. In 2012, she released her second full-length album, Warrior, which was not a commercial success. In a few interviews following its release, the singer said she had lost a lot of creative control with her music and it was no longer the sound she had wanted to create. Then in 2014, Kesha checked herself into rehab after suffering from an eating disorder. In October of that year, Kesha came forward alleging that over the last several years she had been physically, emotionally, and sexually abused by a music producer, Dr. Luke. In 2015, she added Sony Music Entertainment as a defendant, claiming that they had knowledge of Dr. Luke's inappropriate behavior with female artists and did nothing. In February 2016, her legal troubles came to a boil when she was denied an injunction that would allow her to record outside of Kimasabi Records. She was not released from her contract. However, Sony said she would be able to create music without any involvement of Dr. Luke. Her lawyer said this is a promise they may not be able to keep, and that is because it's Dr. Luke's label, so he will always be involved. Sony said even further that it wasn't up to them to release her because the contract involves Dr. Luke as well, and if he wasn't willing to let Kesha go, then they couldn't do anything. The public then suggested that if they couldn't free Kesha from the contract, that they should get rid of Dr. Luke instead. People were not shy in sharing their opinions, and many celebrities such as Kelly Clarkson, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, and Lady Gaga stepped up to show support, even saying that they would no longer work with Dr. Luke. In one tweet, Kelly Clarkson said, Try not to say anything since I can't say anything nice about a person. So this is me not talking about Dr. Luke. And Lady Gaga said, There are people all over the world who support you, Kesha, and I can say I am truly in awe of your bravery. Taylor Swift even put forward $250,000 towards her legal fees. Free Kesha was a way for fans to show her support when she was being forced to continue to work with her alleged abuser until she settled her other legal battles. At the beginning of March, there were rumors that Sony was going to drop Dr. Luke, but whether they actually will is still unclear. After she was denied the injunction, Kesha reached out to her fans and said that even though her case was not successful at this point, it is important for victims of abuse to stand up and speak out.